everyone, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another new video for you guys. And um, this one was actually a video that someone private, private, private messaged me um, and asked me to do. Um, I happened to be in my closet today, um, just kind of organizing and cleaning out a few things and thought what better time to go ahead and make this since I had all the items um, right here. Um, they had seen, um, I had done an unboxing video of my Chanel jumbo flap a couple weeks back and they noticed, I guess, when I kind of showed a brief little uh, viewing of my closet um, on the bottom shelf that I had a shelf of sunglasses. So they kind of noticed that and asked me if I could do a video on um, my collection of sunglasses so they could see what I had. So um, with that being said, um, I'll be more than happy to make the video and um, here I am today with it. So um, I have about six pairs of sunglasses currently in my collection. I had eight. I sold two about two months ago. So I'm down to six now because I wasn't really using those two. So um, if I'm not using the glasses, I feel like I don't need them. So I am down to pretty much the glasses that I feel are kind of classic, won't go out of style anytime soon, and I'm using them the most. So with that being said, I will start with my first pair. And they are a pair of Dolce & Gabbana. And these are the oldest sunglasses out of what you're going to see today. So basically the oldest pair of sunglasses in my current collection. Um, they come in a black DNG case. And these are really old, so the DNG is kind of faded. And it's just a magnetic snap closure. And then when you open it, it says Dian Dolce & Gabbana. And this is a beautiful, like a suede velvet lining there. And these are a pair of DNG sun uh, aviators. Um, and this is just a little Dolce & Gabbana pouch that came with them. And it says Dolce & Gabbana down there at the bottom. And these glass, um, I mean, and this pouch is really handy because when I am um, carrying the glasses in this case, and it's not one of the bigger cases, they have cases now that are much bigger, but it is a size, a pretty good size case. So if I have a smaller handbag and it just won't accommodate um, this, this pouch is very handy. And then this is just the DNG um, authenticity, authenticity paperwork that came with the glasses. And these will be the one and only black pair of sunglasses that I have ever, I believe, owned and own to this day and so far will ever own because I never find black sunglasses that I feel look good on me. Um, I think because of my coloring and my hair color and my eyes and everything, I always tend to like browns. So when I tried these on and I thought they looked really nice, I was super excited and just grabbed them. So um, they are just black aviators and they have a silver hardware up the top, two bars there. It says Dolce & Gabbana on the arm on both sides and then it has the DNG plaques on the bottom of each arm there. And I will just put them on for you. I apologize, I have no idea what these are called, but I'm sure there's a style number in the arms if anyone knows. They probably don't even sell them anymore, but that's how they look on me. And I do like them but, uh, because they are the aviators, but they're not so dramatic where they kind of have that teardrop, you know, and they come down longer. They're a little bit um, smaller and they're shorter up, so I think they look better on me for that. And even though they're black, I feel like they they look good on my face. So, anyways, those are my DNGs. Okay, and for the next pair of sunglasses in my collection, we're gonna go to the trusty Ray Bans, and these are pretty much my go-to when I just run anywhere, errands to the store, outside, walking the dog, taking the baby for a walk. These are the glasses that are most used, and it is just your typical brown Ray Ban sunglass snap closure. Um, and then there's a Macy's little return label there because I got them at Macy's. And this is the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and typical paper booklet, paper booklet that comes with them. And you'll see with all my sunglasses, all of my cleaning cloths are still in the plastic um, because I have a cleaning cloth that I love. It's a Chanel one that I had with the pair of Chanel sunglasses that I used to have, but those glasses got stolen from me. 
long story, but I still have the cleaning cloth, so I just keep that in my bag all the time handy and just use those to clean all of my glasses. Oh, and anyways, these are Ray-Bans. They are aviators, and they are to brown tortoise shell. They say Ray-Ban, and then there's a P after it. I think that means for polarized, because these are polarized. They are gold uh, hardware. And these are super, super like lightweight. I mean, the lightest weight glasses that I've had and I think I've ever felt. They weigh nothing. And they're super comfortable. And then they just have the tortoise shell arms there. And nothing else special. And these are aviators as well. And they do drop down a little lower like the other ones, but they're not too dramatic. So I think that these look good on my face too. And they are brown with the gold. And I love these. These are pretty much my daily go-tos. So um, that's these. Okay, and my next pair of glasses in my collection are gonna be a pair of Tiffany & Company glasses. And here is the gorgeous, gorgeous blue Tiffany case that they come in, iconic blue. You open them up, and these are the glasses. And I'll show you what they are in a minute. I just kind of want to show you when you buy a pair of Tiffany's, you're going to get this case. And when you open it up, there's a, a creamish color uh, fabric inside, kind of suede, velvety. And then there's the Tiffany & Company cleaning cloth, which I haven't opened. And that's a little booklet with your authenticity paperwork and such in there. And there's another little booklet that tells you, I think, how to clean them and then these come with a little pouch too so that if this case doesn't fit in your purse and this is a pretty big case so this is handy to have as well so that and these are the glasses and I love these they are so gorgeous beautiful they are brown tortoise shell and I know the trend is the cat eyes right now, and I absolutely love the cat eye glasses. And I think that this is a subtle version of them because the extreme cat eye, they, they don't look good on me. And these just slightly have that cat eye effect at the top. And they have this beautiful gold hardware, which is a tortoise plastic frame. And then there's the metal thin bar that just goes to the middle of it. Um, they say Tiffany and Company up there in the corner. And then the arms have the beautiful gold hardware again with the chain links. And then there's a paddle lock here. And this is gold and the paddle lock is actually silver hardware. It's got the little keyhole in there. And then it says Tiffany and Company. And then it has the same exact thing on the other side. And then inside there's two little uh, plaques that say T and C O hard to see but they have it on both so I will show you how these look on me and there they are and I absolutely love these two especially from the side I think they are so pretty so classy and, and like Hollywood I don't know I just I love them and they have that see very very um, subtle cat eye look to them you see it more from the side so anyways, um, they are brown with brown gradient lenses as well, tortoise shell. And those are the Tiffany and Company. And I apologize, I don't know what these are called, but I can find out for you or give you the numbers on the inside of them. So if any of these glasses that I don't know the name of, if you want to know, I can give you the model numbers and such on it. And um, anyways, this is the next pair of glasses in my collection. They are a Tom Ford, and I love Tom Ford sunglasses. And this is the beautiful, typical velvet, beautiful, I mean softest velvet you've ever felt case. It says Tom Ford, and it's got a magnetic closure. And you open it up, you will get with that. First of all, the Tom Ford box looks like this that they come with, the brown box with the gold Tom Ford writing. And then inside it has a little leather patch that says Tom Ford and then that's your cleaning cloth in there and the plastic. And then this card basically is just a little authenticity card that just says this, you're guaranteed that this is a pair of authentic Tom Ford glasses. And then this is the accordion style Tom Ford, um, 
it's hard to see because it's brown on brown. There it is. Um, accordion, like how to clean and care for your glasses. And these are called the Whitney's. And these are the first pair of Tom Ford sunglasses I ever bought. And everybody saw these when Tom Ford Ford first kind of came forward and started making glasses. And his, he, they were on fire. Everybody wanted a pair. And these were the most iconic ones. They are called the Whitney, I believe. Yes. And all the celebs like Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie. Everybody was seen wearing these around. These are brown tortoise shell. And they're plastic. Um, they have a subtle gold bar here, the Tom Ford plaque on both of the ends of the arms. And what I love about these is the cutout, how the lens stops, but then you have, it still continues. I think that is so neat um, and different, and it's got the same little effect there. Um, these are brown with brown gradient lenses. They are called the Whitney's, and I will put them on. And the thing about these glasses is the side, that's what's so special about them is the side view. They're absolutely beautiful from the sides. So, um, okay. And I feel like these, anybody can wear this. This is a shape that they flatter everybody's face. So, um, those are the Whitney's. Okay. The next pair of sunglasses that I have are another Tom Ford. Tom Ford, like I said, was my favorite. And I'm not going to go bother showing you what it comes with because it comes with the same thing as the other one did. And then there's your cleaning cloth in there in the same kind of pouch, velvet pouch. And these are called the Miranda. And these kind of are like the same concept of the Whitney's, except they are a metal frame. And these are not brown, they are bronze with the gradient brown lens. And it's got tortoise shell arms there. The same Tom Ford plaques on either side. And then it's got the same cut out there where the lens stops, lens stops in there. These are a little bit um, heavier because they're metal and they are a little bit more slicker. And when I say, I mean sleeker, what I mean by sleek is that they hug your face, I think, a little bit more than the Whitney's. So I'll put them on for you guys. And that's how they look. And they are beautiful from the side. And these are the housewives um, classes that everyone talks that the Beverly Hills housewives, I don't remember her name, but she started wearing these and these made these really popular. But um, these are gorgeous. They are called the Mirandas. Okay, and for my last pair of glasses, and I'm running, running kind of close, they're another Tom Ford, and um, this is a different case I got this time. It's a smaller case, and I wanted one of these so I could put the other two in there, and it'll fit in my purse, and it's the same. There's the same paperwork and cleaning cloth in there as well, and these are a newer style. These are called the Rosie, I believe. I think it's, yeah, the Rosie. And they are brown as well, tortoise shell, but these are um, a leather. It's kind of a leather, um, hard material wrapped around in the subtle gold hardware as usual. The Tom Ford plaques on the ends. And they have a little gold crisscross in the front and the same um, kind of opening to, before the lens starts, but it does not have the typical side exposed. They are closed. It says Tom Ford. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's the texture to it, but it's like a leather texture. And they are called the Rosie, and they are brown with brown gradient lenses. And these are how they look on me. And I, I absolutely love these. These are my newest ones. I think they're fun. Um, that's how they look from the side. Sorry, my... So these are those, and these are called the Rosie. And um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection. I'm about to run out on time. If you have any questions on the style of these or what they're called, message me. I'll be happy to answer you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.